A five-year-old boy is in critical condition after a truck crash near Berlin. His brother, who's just 13, was driving the pickup on what was supposed to be a joyride. News 13's Chris McKee's in the Newsplex. Chris? Dick, a total of four people were involved. Deputies say all of them are minors and none of them are even old enough to have a driver's license. They were driving around doing whatever. What started as a joyride down this quiet road south of Berlin ended horribly. I left the road, hit a telephone pole and rolled over, ejecting the five-year-old out of the vehicle. The Valencia County Sheriff's Office is now investigating the crash that destroyed this truck, left a five-year-old boy in critical condition and teenage siblings facing blame for what happened. The parents are out of town. Uh, they're being watched by some other family members and they went and took the cars without permission. Sheriff's deputies say a 13-year-old boy and his 15-year-old sister took their parents' trucks and went on a joyride. The female had a passenger with her, one of her friends. The brother had his younger five-year-old brother with him. Just before 6 o'clock yesterday, deputies say the two started driving down Millette Road. It looks like there possibly may have been some sort of race between the two of them. Deputies say the 13-year-old boy lost control of his truck on the gravel road, then hit a pole and flipped the truck. The pole sheared completely from its foundation and the five-year-old thrown from the truck. He's in critical care. He's got some internal injuries. The second truck didn't crash and no one else was hurt. Deputies aren't releasing names yet because everyone involved is under 18. As the investigation continues, deputies say it appears the kids' parents are in the clear. I know they were at work at the time the incident happened, so they weren't physically there, but you know, the 15-year-old's old enough to watch them be there by themselves. Now, the Valencia County Sheriff's investigators spent today interviewing the teens involved. They say so far no one has been charged, but that could be a possibility once deputies finish their investigation. Back to you. All right, Chris, uh, deputies do tell us even though the five-year-old is still in critical condition at UNMH, he is doing better today.